a dangerous but wonderful land. Welcome to... Savannas, easily the most superior biome, can be found all over the world. It covers more than half of Africa and a large part of South America, Australia, and India. Today we're going to be talking specifically about Salamat Chad, located in the middle of Africa. Due to being located in the middle of the continent, Chad is not affected by ocean currents. However, wind can cause heat waves, withering plants and narrowing water sources. <coughs> oh my god. <clears throat> hey guys, the other guy's voice was like completely shattered, so I'm here to take his place. In the top right, we can see a graph that shows the average precipitation and temperature year-round during the savanna. We can see that the temperature is hot year-round. During the winter, the precipitation rises drastically. This leads to increased rainfall and vegetation. However, during the summer, the precipitation plummets. This means that there is a dry season, which leads to a long drought. The organisms within the savanna has all developed their own characteristics in order to adapt to these tough droughts. Despite these tough droughts, the savanna still supports more organisms than most other biomes. The savanna is mostly flat with minimal tree coverage. There are also no mountains or volcanoes in the savanna. Animals are always out in the open within the savanna, so prey usually migrate in large herds in order to find green grass, and predators camouflage with the terrain. There is a vast variety of animals that have managed to adapt to the flat terrain and harsh droughts of the savanna. The banded mongoose is a short-legged animal with a pointed nose, small ears, and long furry tail, as well as light brown fur that acts as camouflage within the savanna. Their diet primarily consists of beetles and millipedes. They dig burrows underground to deal with the often hot and dry climate of the savanna. The Temnix ground pangolin has a long snout and a much larger tongue to easily eat ants. They also have sharp claws to rip up mounds and use their scales to protect themselves from predators. Their diet usually consists of ants. The pangolin moves very slowly, which helps to preserve energy during the dry season, where there is relatively no moisture. The honey badger has a very thick, defensive skin. It also has very sharp claws, making it a formidable opponent. They are carnivorous and eat frogs, gerbils, and other small rodents. There is very little moisture during the day, so they usually hunt during the nights when it is cooler. Lions have strong, compact bodies with powerful forelegs, teeth, and jaws for pulling apart and killing prey. They eat medium-sized animals, such as gazelles, wildebeests, and zebras. They also prey on larger, sick animals as well. Their tan color allows them to blend in with the savanna, allowing them to get close to their prey without detection. Gazelles resemble deers and are thin and graceful. They have curved, ringed horns and a reddish-brown coat with a white rump. They eat a variety of plant matter they come across, such as shrubs, trees, and grass. Due to the harsh droughts during the dry season, gazelles are able to extract as much water as possible from various plants. Only few drought-resistant trees and plants are able to survive in the savanna due to the droughts and the dry and arid climate of the dry season. The baobab tree has a very swollen, large, and smooth trunk. It has widespreading branches and it grows fruits as well. During the wet season, it can store a ton of moisture in its large, vast trunk. This allows it to grow fruits in the dry season when it is all dry and arid. The tree does not grow leaves during the dry season in order to preserve moisture. This can lead to it looking like a tree that has been turned upside down. 
The acacia tree has thorns to protect themselves from animals who munch on them. They also have small, fragrant flowers. The acacia tree has very small leaves in order to minimize water loss, and it can also store water in its large trunk. This is necessary considering how the savanna can have months of drought. Elephant grass is tufted, pale grass that can grow up to 4 meters long and 4 centimeters thick. Its leaves are like hairy blades with sharp edges that can potentially keep predators away. It has shallow roots that help the grass absorb water really quickly, which is useful for a dry and arid environment. Red oak grass can reach up to 1.5 meters tall. It flowers in the summer, producing red spikelets on branch stems. All grasses within the savanna become dormant during dry periods, turning brown to limit water loss. When there is adequate water, they grow quickly. Predators can utilize this to bond in with the grass. Star grass has a stem that can range up to 3 to 4 feet. Their stolons are thick and woody. They store necessary moisture and nutrients and wait for the rainy season. Since their reserves are underground, they can also survive wildfires. When the imposter is sus.